And shifting focus in a bit to strengthen its ties with the United Kingdom, Ukraine President Zelensky was in Britain today to meet his counterpart Rishi Sunak. This visit comes days after UK promised to give Ukraine more missiles and attack drones in an effort to change the course of the war. Zelensky thanked Britain for its support so far and said Ukraine was preparing a very important counteroffensive. It's Zelensky's second trip to the UK since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022. The visit also comes ahead of the Council of Europe summit in Iceland, which Rishi Sunak is due to attend. Zelensky will address the summit virtually. Today we spoke about the jets, very important topic for us, because we can't control the sky, you know it. So I think you know everything deeply, because we're real partners. You, Rishi knows all the details, what's going on on our battlefield. Thank you very much. And uh, we want to create this uh, jets coalition, and I'm very positive with it. We spoke about it, and I see that in the closest time you will hear some, I think, very important decisions, but we have, we have to work a little bit more on it. We are going to be a key part of the coalition of countries that provides that support to Vladimir and Ukraine. Now, it is not a straightforward thing, as Vladimir and I have been discussing, to make build up that fighter uh, combat aircraft capability. It's not just the provision of planes, it's also the training of pilots and all the logistics that go alongside that. Now, the UK can play a big part of that. One thing we will be doing, starting actually relatively soon, is uh, training of Ukrainian pilots. And that's something that we've discussed yes, today. We're ready to implement those plans uh, in, in relatively short order which will mean that we're training Ukrainian uh, citizens to become absolutely combat-ready aircraft pilots. As long as it takes, must translate basically into stable financial support, of course also beyond 2023, and accelerated military support focused on the now and here, and Nothing about Ukraine without Ukraine means very strong support for President Zelensky's peace formula. We should never forget that Ukraine is the country that was brutally invaded. And it's therefore the one that should set out the core principles for just peace. I'm joined by Sanjay Suri to get the latest when it comes to the ties between UK and Ukraine when it comes to taking on the Russian war machine. Sanjay, thank you for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, my first question is, uh, decode the scope of British support for the Ukrainian forces and are there any sticking points which need to be ironed out as Ukraine uh, aims to extend those ties between the two countries? Well, the significant new expansion of uh, military support from the UK has been the supply of long-range weaponry. Already we saw the Storm Shadow missile supply to Ukraine. There are reports that these have been deployed as well. In fact, there is a claim from Russia that one of these has been intercepted. Or that claim has not been substantiated. But clearly the UK has been moving very fast in supplying those. And these are the first cruise missiles that Ukraine has been given. And these have been given by Britain. Further, we have an announcement today that there will be hundreds of new long-range drones, attack drones, to be supplied by Britain. And this is expected now in a very short span of time. This, again, will be a significant long-range weapon. These are said to be drones with a range of 200 kilometers, very much more than anything that Ukraine has at the moment, not necessarily to strike deep into Russian territory, but they could strike from positions deeper within Ukraine's own territory, which makes them protected from artillery attacks. So this is a significant new edge coming from Britain. Right. And Sanjay, we all know that British politicians love an argument. But when it comes to supporting Ukraine, uh, among all the parties, is there any is there consensus when it comes to uh, militarily supporting uh, Zelensky? Oh, clear consensus. Uh, the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats, the opposition parties, are very clear and uh, firm that uh, Ukraine needs to be supported, supported militarily, diplomatically, economically. So everybody's on the same page there. Where there are issues, of course, is in what Britain really can do, because Zelensky is looking for air cover. He's looking for a coalition of jets, as he said. 
and he is looking particularly for F-16 capability. To that, Britain has said no because Britain says the Royal Air Force does not use F-16. The next best that Britain has offered is training for Ukrainian pilots in aircraft that could also prepare them for F-16s. So that is a process that will take some time, but we can expect some movement on that front uh, before uh, weeks and months. Uh, Zelensky has said that in the closest possible time, there will be an important announcement in this regard, referring to air cover, military air cover for Ukraine. That certainly is something we need to watch out for. He says the announcement on that will come very soon. He has said that the attack, the counteroffensive everyone's been waiting for, is taking some time. It will take some time, but he added it will not take too long. Therefore, confirming that it will come a little delayed, but that clearly is on its way now. Right. Thank you, Sanjay, for getting us the latest when it comes to Western support to Ukraine's effort to counter the Russian war machine as Zelensky plans that counteroffensive. And that's all we have to pack in on the show. Thank you for watching. Zelensky is meeting to the United Kingdom. Zelensky arrived at the Czechos country residence on a Chinook helicopter to meet his quote unquote friend Rishi Sunak. The leaders embraced each other like old time friends at Sunak's country residence and held talks on military aid. The Ukrainian leader is the first foreign dignitary to meet Sunak at his country residence, Czechos. Addressing the reporters, Zelensky said his people are indebted for UK support in dire times. And Sunak suggested it would be a vital week to launch Ukraine's spring offensive against Russia. The UK confirmed earlier this month that it supplied Ukraine with Storm Shadow cruise missile. The Storm Shadow cruise missile has a range of over 250 kilometers, while the US supplied HIMARS missiles, which has a range of around 80 kilometers. The Storm Shadow will help the Ukrainian military to strike Russian positions far away from the front lines. Just a day prior, the Ukrainian president made a surprise visit to Paris and met Emmanuel Macron on the 14th of May. With his fresh request of military support, Zelensky chaired a summit with EU Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen, Poland's PM and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. The Ukrainian president was also awarded Germany's prestigious Charles Magne Prize on the same day. Thank you for your kind words um, about Ukraine. First of all, about Ukraine and our heroes and our soldiers and our children. Thank you very much. My appreciation. On 19th November 2022, just a couple of weeks after swearing in as a British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak made his first visit to Kiev, pledging to continue the steady support for Ukraine. In Kiev, Sunak laid flowers at a memorial for the war dead and lit a candle at memorial for the victims in deadly Soviet era famine in Ukraine in the 1930s. Zelensky last visited the UK in February, when he made a rare address to both houses of the parliament in Westminster Hall.